This video will show you how to assemble the rabbit hat trick card from Simply Crafty SVGs. And the SVG is also available in our Magical Things SVG bundle. So here are the pieces to the card. We have some in our little embellishment bowl here. We have the black piece. So we have that panel piece, which is a pattern paper we're using. Um, I'm going to try to decide which color I want to do. Um, the pieces, all these little pieces to finish off the box. So I have actually some extra stars in there. So we'll take the three we're going to use. Trying to decide on the color. I'm going to go with those. They look more gold. So these are going. So the other thing we have are the hat, the, I'm sorry, the rabbit faces. So there's two versions here. I'm going to use this version, but I'm going to explain them to you. So this pink, this will layer like this, but you want to choose one. The one that comes default with the file is this one, which just cuts out. You can see there's cut out. There's lines for the whiskers right there. So I used a pen for this. So I'm going to show you just shortly how you can use This is in the extra stuff folder. So if you want to do draw with the pen, you kind of have to know your machine and how you use the pen. But I'll show a quick little video for Cricut. For some reason, Cricut doesn't um, place them as accurately as I like. So if you see, this is the original file. This is where it places it closer to the nose. But you don't have to do it manually that way. So I'll show you a little video uh, right now to show you how to set this up in Cricut, but uh, if you have a different machine that uses a pen, you can use this file. It's on a separate layer, so you can set it to a pen. So you can do that with Scan and Cut and Silhouette. So in Cricut, we just want to go into the Extra Stuff folder. You want to go ahead and upload. And I have a little window on the right from an Extra Stuff folder. Pull that file in. And then you'll notice that the once you pull it in, that there's two layers. So with the Cricut you have to add to canvas and then we want to go ahead and change the layer for the uh, whiskers to pen and then you could change the pen type or it really doesn't matter as long as it's a pen. Then you need to attach it. So click attach otherwise it won't draw it in the right place and then you can go ahead and make. And then it'll ask for a pen and then it'll also cut. And then when you continue, you'll be asked on the paper settings that you want to use. And also, um, it'll remind you to insert the pen and the blade. So I went ahead and I centered this front panel. This is an A2 size card, so it's 4.25 by 5.5 inches tall. So um, just, just, uh, just be aware that I tried this dark one, which I liked, um, but it... Um, it was a little bit too dark for the black cat, so just know a lighter background will work better. So we'll go ahead, just as we mentioned, you want to choose one of these. The one with the cut lines will work. You can always uh, highlight it with ink or uh, just pen out the uh, whiskers. But I'm going to use the one I had drawn on using the Cricut. But we're going to go ahead and start piecing this together. So we want to start with the stars. There's two larger ones and a smaller one. I'm going to use a pick-me-up tool, which is a silhouette tool to, with a sticky end on it. I didn't have it prepared. So it has a little sticky on it. Pick up the star and place it. There's other tools like that out here, there too. I just happen to have the silhouette version, which works well. It's full. It's I've had it forever. You see all the little sticky stuff in it? You just kind of clean it off the edge every once in a while. There is something to refill it, but I don't have that. I haven't had to, and I've had it for years. I think at that point I'll probably buy a different tool. The diamond dot one things work too. The one tools that you bring pick up diamond dots if you're into that. So... The only thing I wanted to make sure is that uh, the texture side was up. You can't really see it that well, but but get those stars on. So the other side helps me move it around and line it up. Put 
The next will be the pink layer. So I cut it out so there wouldn't be like, these, these are the smallest pieces that you'll have to place. First I had the eyes and the nose separate, but it's, they're just too small. Just so much easier when you're trying to make a card to make it, especially if you want to make a quick card. So line these ears up so I find it easier to go sideways so I can line them up at the top. Slightly overlaps that one star there. That one I didn't get perfect, but... Then we'll do the white piece. So you want to put glue on the back of the white piece. And that really thin amount on the ears. For some reason, if you struggle to get that glue on, I'm not going to try not to go to too close to those openings do, but if you struggle to get that glue on, you can always use your fingertips to spread it, but just be aware that some glue can give you a reaction. So we're just gonna, we're just lining up the eye holes and then matching it up at the ears right there. I decided this would be more of a kid type of, of, uh, card so I wanted it to be quick to make so originally was a box card design but I changed it into this it was cuter this way then we'll put the red piece so if you want to line up the black piece on the top first before you put that red piece on just to line it up well so let's go ahead and put that on so we can pick it up and line it up around the edges Try not to get glue on that red piece, but I did. Uh, trying to get it in place before I, it dries on me. It'd be fun as embossed too, but I had enough room for you to put a little birthday sentiment in front. And we'll go ahead and glue this whole red piece on. line it up using the top portions here. So I have a little red peeking out there. So what I'm going to do to to fix the red showing is to take my black ink. So I'm just going to get one of these finger brushes from iCrafter. Well, these are, oh, these were extra, by the way. I oh, forgot to, didn't throw them away yet. Let's put this away. Because I, the red showing, I'm just gonna do this, just to show you that you can do this after the fact. If for some reason you have, it helps to hide some of the imperfections. And I'm just gonna go around the edge too here. And then the last thing I wanna do is, actually there's two things. I wanna put it to the card and then I'm gonna add a little dot of white on the eyes. So the way this goes is like this. You see how those, that's the outline of the two stars? Some people call these edge cards before they weren't car called anything the first cards that I made. I made a gnome like this, but I wasn't quite sure. There's really no name to me. It was just a, a card with an offset, but I guess they call them edge cards these days. You have to call them something, so it's kind of a style that's a lot of people got into. It's going to look line this up so it has a little edge of the pattern paper. These kind of line up into that middle area. There we go. So I'm going to take this little, uh, it's called Jelly Roll, 
and I'm going to add little white marks to the eyes just to get little reflection marks. So before you do that, you want to make sure that you're um, just closing my thing. You want to make sure that your your actual white pen is working well and flowing. So I usually take a just take a piece of black. I have this extra black. You could do it with pencil too, but I'm going to do something like this, just in the eyes, real small. But I want to make sure that it was flowing before I did this. So if you want to do it in pencil, you can. It's harder on textured paper. There it is, and you can just add your little sentiment on the top. There it is, our little, I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this project and until next time.